everybody welcome to another vlog it is December 27th 2016 it is 9 45 as I begin this vlog I am heading out to run some errands I spend most of the morning working on some working on, working on my eBay I was taking pictures on eBay and I was working on, on another thing where it actually involves one of the life-changing things that's happening in my life right now so I'm really, really close to this thing happening so I don't want to reveal it till it happens and now I gotta head to work today also I gotta drop off some packages too at the, at the post office so yeah I got a lot of things to do this morning so come along with me here we go another day Ronnie Bizzle TV so I want to talk about my goal that I talked about yesterday of trying to get a thousand items in my eBay store by April. Now, yesterday and today I was doing the numbers. Right now, I have, I think I have 453 items. <clears throat> that means I need to get, right, as of now, 547 items by April. I believe April is like 120 days away from now. So if you divide that, I literally have to get like four or five items up a day to reach that 1,000 by April. The thing is, as I'm listing items, I'll probably be selling items. So I gotta check that into account. So this is gonna be a very, very tough task to do. But I'm, will, I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna try to get the 1,000 by April. Now the thing is, there, there has to be some days where I have to list at least 10 to 20 items a day. Which means I gotta go source 10 to 20 items a day. So, wow, this might be, like I said, a little bit tough. This is, might be a really lofty goal. But if you don't set lofty goals for yourself, then you're not, you know, inspiring yourself. And I'm trying to inspire myself to do this. So, this morning I took pictures of like seven items that I, that I bought yesterday. And I'll be listing them tonight when I get home. The thing is, if I sell three things, then it's like I put up four things. So... And then to compound that, you know, I have it's the life events going on. You know, I told you about this, these life things going on in my life that are life changing that are happening. So it might take off a couple of days here to do that. And then some, there might be some days where I don't list anything on eBay. So this is going to be tough. Um, April is still the target date, but I'm thinking maybe May might be a more doable result. Like I said, if I'm still selling, it's all good. I'm making money. So, right now, I'm trying to, my mind is like racing right now to try to come up with a plan to make this goal possible. Maybe I can do some short-term, maybe I, yeah, maybe I should do some short-term goals. Like, how much should I have at the end of January? How much I should have by the end of February, etc and see where I'm at. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, this is something that I've been thinking about. It's something that I think is doable, but it's going to be very, very tough. Very tough. So, it's good to have goals like this. It's good to have, good to have stuff like this in your mind instead of junk stuff and stuff that's not, you know, you know, uh, stimulating your mind and that's what I really want so yeah this eBay thing is gonna be an obsession of mine next couple of months because I am gonna get to a thousand I am going to get to a thousand but in the meantime I'm here at work good old work here I am again a poker dealer to all you guys out here in Vegas I will river somebody Enjoy your time. Hope you make your poker dreams come true. 
and I made it through another day of dealing cards. Time to go home. But first, it's dinner. So the last hour of work lately, like the last couple of weeks, I find myself unmotivated to deal. It's like between, if I get off at eight, I, the, from seven o'clock to eight, I'm like, oh, when is it gonna end? When can I go home? From six o'clock and eight o'clock, I'm pretty much pooped out and done. I wanna go home, I wanna eat. My mind just wanders everywhere and it seems to happen a lot lately. Maybe because I'm thinking a lot about eBay and trying to get that thing to work, but you know, six hours right now is pretty much the max work before my mind wanders. <sighs> oh well. So do you guys want to hear a poker story that happened today at work? I'm gonna tell you a really, really good one. This is actually very, very cool. And very, very cool. Anyway, there's I um I pushed into this tournament. It was a uh, our 3 p.m. poker tournament, and we were during the break, so there was like five people left. So I sat down, you know, and this guy to my left said, "Oh, do you remember who I am?" And I looked at him as this young Asian kid. I was like, "No, not really." He goes, "Yeah, I was here last year, the same time of the year, same tournament." One. Oh my God! Hold up, this guy's back again. This guy. He's your savior. Your savior. There he is. Anyways, he um, said that the same date last year, same tournament, same buy-in. He won the tournament. And I dealt him. And I go, really? And he actually showed me the picture. And yeah, in the picture, timestamp was De December 27th, 2015. And there I was. I was There he was holding up his, his cards that he won. And there I was in the picture. There I was. It was pretty cool. So I was like, oh. And he was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to win again. You're my lucky dealer. And he ends up finishing fifth. I busted him. So I just thought it was funny that uh, the same guy would play the same tournament, the same date, the same time. <laughs> Meeting my family here for Buffalo Wild Wings. 80 cents wing night. About to tear it up, because I'm starving. Watch a little football as well. Yeah, and they just give you ranch now. You don't have to buy it. Ooh, look at all this dinner action. Let's see what Buffalo Wild Wings are. Is that cheap? Pour it up. Pour it up. My favorite. Not much like, that. We freaking murder all this wings. Plays a day after my birthday. So I know the older I get, the less I gotta stop eating like 15 wings. But damn, they're so freaking good. So tasty. Didn't help that I was freaking hungry when I came in. So, man. I gotta work in a celery in there somewhere. You're a salad. All right, guys, I am heading out. I'm gonna end the vlog right here as I'm driving. So if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Please share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.